Dun 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 dun. Making the bacon. What is going on guys and girls? My name is James, or thanks see ya, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod spotlight. And today, we're gonna get all sciencey up in here once again, because we are taking a look at the amazing laser mod. So yeah, this is absolutely fantastic, and it's kind of one of those mods that sort of has a purpose for all you different types of Minecrafters. So for all you redstoners, is that is that right? That sounds terrible. For all you, redst <laughs> for all you redstone users, uh, this is great, so you can do loads of really awesome automated systems, but you can also kill stuff with it, so I mean, it's all bases covered. Uh, but yeah, we're going to start straight away here with these two items. These are the actual laser boxes. So this is kind of roughly where you're going to want to get started. Effectively, there's two different types. There's the basic laser box and there is the advanced laser box. So what does this mean? Well, basically, like, well, basically the basic one, if that makes sense, uh, is just a standard laser box. So you can do everything with it that you can do with this one. However, with the advanced one, you can customize it to do some very special things. Uh, so yeah, how do we make these? Well, to start things off, we have the first one here. Now, this is the basic one, which is four cobblestone, four glass, and then this item here, which is the laser crystal. Now, the good thing about this mod is it's not something you can start off with straight away. Uh, this is something you're going to have to work up for because every single laser box that you need requires a diamond, a couple of pieces of glowstone dust, a couple of pieces of redstone, and uh, four pieces of glass. And then you stick that in the middle and obviously you have yourself uh, that one. Oh, oh god damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, forget that. Uh, here is the basic one, and then the uh, advanced one is... Da, 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 like so. So, this is exactly the same as the other one, however, you replace the cobblestone with obsidian. So, obviously, it's a little bit more expensive, it's a little bit more difficult to get. However, I'd advise going for this one, as it has much more versatility uh, when you start to use it. So, let's get rid of these. Right, so, the first thing I'm going to show you is this item over here. These are actually the laser detectors basically so this is when the laser gets sent then this will locate this block and then this block will send a redstone signal out so the first thing that i'm kind of mentioning here is that it's amazing for redstone style triggering um so we've just got a couple of pistons under here uh, and a couple of diamond blocks so what we're going to do is i'm going to come all the way down here and uh, yeah as you can see there's nothing and then we flick them and then the lasers fire and then boom our two diamond blocks have popped out so this is very, very, very basic, um, but you can automate this to do everything that you want to. Anything that you can use with redstone or, requ or requires a redstone signal, you can trigger off with these lasers. So it's very, very cool. These ones are like red, but we'll come to that in a second. So as you can see, these things go from like pink to sort of like uh, a red color, triggers it, and then the diamond blocks pop up. And then of course, if we get rid of it, bloop, then uh, they go down. So that's kind of cool. Now, as I kind of mentioned with the uh, the customization aspect of it, uh, this is something that we're going to come to a little bit later on over there. But you can also uh -huh, change the laser beam colors, which is very, very cool. So this is actually showcasing two different things. So, ta-da! Doesn't that look awesome? Right, so this is actually showing you how to change the color of the laser beams, and this is also showing you how to divert them. So... We have two different blocks in here. We have the reflector and we have the converter. The reflector is made like so, uh, cobblestone and then a glowstone dust in the middle with glass. Uh, really straightforward to make. And then the actual color converter is uh, kind of similar. However, you have another laser crystal. So you do have to pay a little bit more in order to convert your color. But it's pretty cool nonetheless. So I've kind of got a little system here where this is the main this is the main block. So this is only actually one laser. However, I've got it going up into a color changer and then it changes into purple and then it gets diverted left and right and then once again into yellow, uh, divert it down, change the color into green, etc, etc. So how do we do this? Well, very, very easy. Let's actually just do a quick demonstration here. You're going to need an item in order to do this, which is called the screwdriver. So really straightforward to make, just an iron ingot, two ink sacks, uh, and two dandelion yellow, and then that'll give you this really cool looking screwdriver. And this is needed in order to work the laser reflector. So uh, let's just grab ourselves an advanced laser box here. Uh, and I'm just gonna stick it on uh, a block of redstone just for the sake of ease. So I stick that down there. Now I've got myself uh, my, uh, oh, where is it? There we go, my advanced laser. So this is just firing normal. You do have to power these, of course, in order to get the laser to come out. 
But yeah, what we're going to do now first is we're actually going to uh, change the, the place it goes. So we stick down one of these reflectors. Now what you'll notice is that nothing's coming out because each one has this like little black square on it and you actually need to right click it with the screwdriver to open up the hole. So as you can see there, you can actually see inside the block, which is very cool. Now which way do I want it to go? I can do that and I can also change it like that. So I can change it three ways or I can change it, you know, four ways, whatever I want really, but let's just make it go. Uh, let's just make it go this way for now. And then if I want to change the color, then what I have to do is I have to come this side of it like so. And then as you can see, this is firing a laser beam there. Now what I do is really straightforward. Just pick a color. Uh, I really like the green, actually. I think the green is cool. Uh, the cactus green. So I just right click the cactus green on this front square here, and then it will send it through via a different color. So really, really nice. I like that an awful lot. Very, very cool. Let's change it to the daytime here. Let's get rid of that for the sake of it. But uh, yeah, as you can see here, we've got color changes, so you can customize it, whatever you want, and uh, you can change the direction and all that jazz. Right, moving on. This is where the uh, the advanced one uh, really comes into its own, because what you can do is you can actually add special types of effects onto the laser beam itself, so it will have different types of property which is very, very cool. So this one here is an advanced laser box, and uh, these the ones we're going to be looking at first of all. So we actually have a fire upgrade here and we have a damage upgrade. Now these are crafted like so. So the fire one is obsidian, fire charge, glowstone dust and blaze powder, sort of all the red things. Uh, and this is the damage upgrade one which is a obsidian, golden sword, a glowstone dust and a spider eye. Now what you do is when you actually have the advanced one, really straightforward, you have to take the power away from it. So as you can see this one has the power on, so I've turned it off and then you just right click that that, uh, damage upgrade or whatever upgrade into the box and then it will show you so you can also right click it with a screwdriver and then you can see that this one currently has no upgrades in this laser so what we're going to do is we're actually going to stick on the fire upgrade so we're just going to right click it like so and then if we right click it again with the screwdriver you can see that this upgrade has got fire on it by default so what does this mean? Well, it gives the laser beam like the property of fire. So if we spawn our stunt villagers, don't worry, these are highly trained professionals. Uh, and then we fire a laser at them. <laughs> you can see that the, the laser beam will actually have a fire property. So anything that walks into this laser beam's path will get set on fire, which I think is pretty cool. Lol. Okay, right, so let's get rid of that. And now we've got a couple of different ones here. Uh, I can't actually remember which one this is. Oh, no, hang on. Yes, yes, okay, this is cool. Uh, so this one here, I think I've actually put in, yes, I have this, I've put in actually a push one. So you've got a push and a pull one, uh, which will obviously change it. So the push one is made with a piston, uh, glowstone dust, obsidian, and a feather. And the pull one is made with the same thing. Uh, instead of glowstone, what's the difference there? What? Hang on. Feather. Oh, so piston is push and then sticky piston is pull. Okay, so that makes sense. Right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do the push one first. So if we spawn a villager in the middle here, now if we actually power this lever on, oh god, come on, there we go. As you can see, what happens is it will push the villager away. So anything that walks within this path, it will push away. So that can be really useful for quite a few things. You can control entities this way. So if you've got a spawner system, you can use these to kind of push the villagers away. Alternatively, once you've pushed them away, <laughs> what you can also do is you can pull them. So uh, I've actually made like a one small space here, so I don't think that's going to work. But let's get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, God, I've broken stuff. Um, hang on. One second. One second. For science! For science! Yeah, there we go. Right, so let's grab ourselves a few piggoos. Uh, good little piggies. So this one here is the pull one. So if we activate this, da -dun, and we spawn a few piggies like here or something, then what will happen is, as you can see, the pigs will get pulled through the gap and they'll get pulled into like a pit, for example. So you can control mobs really, really nicely with this. This is going to work really well for kind of spawners and spawner systems and mob farms and XP farms and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, very, very cool. And then the second to last upgrade you can actually do with these is you can actually put a uh, power enchantment on it. So this is like damage, and this means that these things will be killed really, really quickly. Um, so this anything that walks in this this bar will effectively just be damaged. So you can use this to kind of control uh, how stuff dies. If it's kind of you know anything that walks, you can use these as traps. So you can have this around your house, and then any kind of entity that walks through it will get damaged because of that. So I think that's pretty cool. How do we make the damaged one? Ah, good question, James. Let's find out. Um, damage, damage. That's the heart, yeah. So the damaged one is uh, Golden Sword, Obsidian, Spider Eye, and Glowstone Dust. I think we may have already looked at that. What do you think? Hmm? Yours. Right. So, 
We've got one more feature to, to see, but uh, I'll let you into a little secret. You've been looking at it the whole time. Hmm, does that sound cryptic? Well, it does, so let's turn it into night. Let's get rid of all these items. Right, so in this golden chest here, we have the wonderful laser-seeking goggles. So these are made with iron ingots, glass, and a laser crystal. And what do these things do? Well, if we take them out and we actually put them on... Ta-da! <laughs> so these laser beams have been active the whole time, it's just you haven't seen them, because on top of all of this, if you don't want to have these laser beams uh, all over the place, you can choose to make them invisible. So that's really cool, that is one of the final upgrades for the advanced one, and uh, yeah, these have been on, as I said, the whole time, and they're very cool, you can change the colour of them, so I've just changed them into different ones. But how you do that is just the last final one here, which is the invisible upgrade. So you can stick uh, obsidian, golden carrots, glowstone dust, and fermented spider eye in. You'll get the invisible upgrade, and then you can put that onto your advanced laser box. So these things can actually be stacked. So as well as having like invisible, you can have damage on it, or you can have fire on it, or whatever you want. You can stack these up as many as you like, and uh, you know you can just play around with lasers. It's so cool. And yeah, I just love this mod. I think it's great. I think it's really, really fun. Um, especially for, like, automation and stuff. Uh, I'm sure there's a million more technical ways that you can you can use this mod, but I've just gone for the basic to kind of show you. But yeah, so to kind of recap, effectively what you can do is you can fire lasers at redstone activator blocks, which will cause a redstone signal, which will be able to power all of the vanilla redstone items, I guess. Uh, you can also use these laser beams for damage. Uh, you can use them to set fire. You can use to pull. You can use to push. You can make the whole lot invisible. You can change the color, and you can change the direction. And and uh, yeah, you can do everything you want. So, that's about it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. It's kind of fun doing sort of sciencey mods. I like them a lot. Ooh, so pink. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, and if you like these super awesome lasers, uh, let's try and get a thousand likes. That would be awesome. So yeah, thank you so, so much for your support. For me and this pig, we both appreciate it immensely, don't we? Yes. And uh, yeah, if you're not yet subscribed, go for it. We do Minecraft on fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, thanks. Uh, see ya!